away from health-related matters to arrest the falling Naira, the House of Representatives has called on the Central Bank of Nigeria to implement necessary monetary policy adjustments. It also cautioned the federal government against a bloated cabinet, wasteful expenditures, oil thefts, and forex speculators. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. June 2023, President Bola Tinumbu, through the Central Bank of Nigeria, announced changes to the nation's foreign exchange market. The intent was to allow market forces determine Naira value. But the alarming exchange rate has impacted Nigeria's economy, causing untold hardship due to increased demand for dollars, leading to dollar shortage. With the Naira exchanging for as much as 1,060 Naira to a dollar, Ismail Adabo in his motion says there is need for an immediate intervention to arrest the continued free fall of the Naira. The Naira has lost a great percent of its value against the dollar, falling from 778.602 dollars per dollar as of September 26, 2023, and nearly 1,000 or more per dollar now at the parallel market. Other lawmakers want the finance minister and the CBN governor invited and wondered why other foreign currencies are stronger than the Naira. If you want to fly some of the foreign airlines, they charge you in dollars. Mr. Speaker, it is illegal and it should be stopped. What is putting pressure on our currency today is that we are import dependent. Nigeria is depending so much on everything, we import everything into this country. And we need to encourage agriculture by all means. The Ifo Ilobu communal crisis in Oshun State is now a subject of investigation with a view to averting a recurrence. And that the Inspector General of Police to, thorough, to thoroughly investigate the immediate and remote causes of the unfortunate incident and bring all perpetrators to book. The House also moved to investigate the untimely death of a medical doctor on duty at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital. One Dr. Michael Umo reportedly died after spending 72 hours on duty in the neurosurgical unit of the institution. Among other legislative businesses of the day was the adoption of a motion seeking to investigate alleged mismanagement of funds and other irregularities in the operations of the National Health Service Insurance Authority. Jokia TVC News.